This video will take you through the process of how to rename rooms. So there will come a point in the, um, the life cycle of the project where the architect will change the room names. Now you can double click in a room individually, just double click in its profile and change the room name quite simply. You might actually want to apply a numbering system. Uh, you might want to isolate the rooms for reports to show the ground, the first, the second you know, groupings of rooms. So all we need to do is go to the edit menu, go to rename rooms, and we have some choices available. So I first of all, I'm going to filter out by ground floor, so you can filter by floor. Um, we've got several choices. We can replace text. Um, so I could replace GND with uh, any other text. So it'll find the, the letters GND and replace with whatever you type in. I could renumber them or I could add text. So if I go for the renumber option, I can start at 100 to represent the ground floor room. Type in 100 there. Select OK, and that will then renumber those rooms with a, um, a suffix giving the room name on the listing. Um, you can also add text. I mean, here we can see it, 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 the, the, the floor is reflected in the room name, but I could also add text if I wanted to. I can add it as a prefix or a suffix, so I'll put it as a prefix, and I'll put uh, GND. So you can see, and again, if I want to replace ground with nothing and reset it, I replace find GND and replace with nothing and OK that and that changes them back. So you can quite easily change your um, room names quite easily. 